Hello and welcome to the Kinetic Networks YouTube channel. My name is Chris. Today I'm going to be going over how you can improve the performance of your mod pack. So the load time, the FPS and the overall stability. Now this will work on any mod pack, whether it's one of ours, so whether it's Colony Mythic, Kinetic Beyond, whatever you're playing one of our packs, or whether it's one of the many other packs that are out there on Technic or on FDB or on Curse or wherever the hell you've downloaded your mod pack from. Um, now, the first thing I'm going to go over to improve performance is the one that's often forgotten, looked over, and that is your Java. So, basically, take no offence, but I'm going to treat you in this video, so everyone's included, that you know absolutely nothing about Minecraft, and you know absolutely nothing about how it runs. Um, so, uh, Java is basically what Minecraft runs on. And having an outdated version of Java can be extremely detrimental into the way it runs and sometimes can make it just crash completely, difficulty joining servers, uh, especially if you're running one of the newer packs. Um, updating your Java is important, so update it. If you're running Windows, a lot of the time you'll get a little orange icon down here saying, hey boy, update your Java. But if you haven't got that, you can just go to Java here and you can just press the download and it will just download the installer and it will update it just make sure you're always running the latest updates the latest update here for version 8 is update 161 um so make sure you're running that one that's released on january the 6th 18th 16th 2018 to so make sure you're running the latest version um next thing ram so i don't know where this came from i'm just gonna log into technic but the biggest misconception about Minecraft is the more RAM you allocate to it the better your pack is going to run which is lies so I think a lot of people come into our discords and they're like oh I've Alec your mod pack absolutely sucks I've given it 20 gigabytes of RAM and it still lags the reason it lags is because you've given it 20 gigabytes of RAM now all of our packs I can't speak for everyone else's our packs are built to run on four gigabytes of RAM. They use anywhere between two and three when actually got in the game. The only reason they need the four is because of the, the boot up that needs it. They've been built and designed to allow basically potato PCs, if you want to call them that, to run and be able to use them. Everyone can use the packs because there's so much RAM, you know, how minimal RAM you can run them on. It may, you know, make your load time quite a long, um, if you haven't got a lot of RAM, but uh, you can definitely get in and play with them. So, we recommend anywhere between 4 and 6 gigabytes of RAM to play our packs on. And you probably should follow a similar kind of thing when running some of the others. If we're running, say, the 1.7.10 pack on Technic that has a lot of mods in it, you may want to bump this up to 8. But honestly, I would never go above 10. Um, adding more RAM to Java and to Minecraft can mean that your system kind of gets a bit bogged down. Um, it means that often the times you will run worse because you've allocated more RAM to Minecraft than if you had less. So, if you're using one of our packs between 4 and 6, don't go above that. There's absolutely no need. If you're using another pack, then maybe contact the mod pack maker. They probably have an idea of how much RAM the pack should be done. Unless they've just launched a load of mods together and just bunged it out on Technic. Then they might not have a clue. So, the next thing is you need to go into your mods list. Now, if you want to get to your mods list, it's simple. Click on mod pack options here, and then just go to open. So here you go, and then go to mods. So this is the mod list for our Colony 1.10.2 pack, which isn't actually out at the time of recording, uh, but it will be out um, probably when, it, when this video goes live, I hope. So um, if your pack doesn't have this mod here, better FPS, uh, then you'll want to download this mod and put it into your pack. Um, it's brilliant and it's a real help. Now, you can get the best out of better FPS, and a lot of people don't know this, and you may have been using better FPS for years and never noticed as a feature, if you double-click on it. Now, this is going to bring up the installer window, but what it allows you also to do is to go and test algorithms. Now, if you press on this, it's going to benchmark your algor the algorithms and tell you which one is the best for your PC. So, better FPS changes the way Minecraft calculates things, and it's different for different people's PCs. So, for me, this is the best algorithm for me, so I can change it to that. For you, it may be something completely different. So, run that, and then you'll get the best out of better FPS. 
Um, also, adding if you're adding different mods into the mod packs, you may want to rerun better FPS because it can change what F what um, calculation version is better for you. Next thing here, this is Foam Fix. Um, it's another great mod. If you haven't got it in your pack, then I recommend you install it. Um, it works exactly the same as Optifine in many ways, but in many ways not. Now, Foam Fix is only available from 1.8 plus. If you're using a 1.7.10 pack, then you need to download something else, which is called Fastcraft. So here we go. Here it is here. I'll link all this in the description down below. So this is 1.7.10. So basically, Foam Fix is kind of a continuation of Fastcraft to 1.8 and above basically so 1.7.10 fast craft above 1.7.10 foam fix and you want to download the anarchy version of foam fix that would be get your better performance so uh, they essentially are alternatives to optifine when people go into the performance ideas of mods uh, mod packs they kind of automatically go towards optifine um, and i'll go over why a couple of reasons why we don't include that in our packs in just a second um, I rec this mod won't run with Optifine and will ne neither will Fastcraft. Um, but these, 9 times out of 10, we found when testing these on different machines, these work better overall. For your system, you may find that Optifine's a little bit better, but you may find that Foamfix is a little bit better. Different computers work differently. It's why some packs will boot up and load perfectly fine on other people's machines and have difficulty on, on, on you know someone else's. Um, so... Foam Fix is the one I personally recommend, and is the one that's included with all our packs. And for 1.7.10, I recommend Fastcraft, and it's the one that's also included with all our 1.7.10 packs. So you want better FPS and Foam Fix in there, or better FPS and Fastcraft. So why don't we include Optifine? Because it's one of the biggest questions we get. Number one, as I said, uh, we found that Foam Fix and Fastcraft, the alternative to Optifine, work better overall on different computers. And um, they have a broader range of what ones work. We found a lot of issue with high-end computers and Optifine, um, and a lot of issues with, with you know different computer builds, things like that. So we've gone for these. Number two is you shouldn't include Optifine in your mod pack unless you've got written permission from the Optifine creator. Um, we make sure we've got all permission for all of our pack, all of the mods that goes into our packs, because. If you don't have permission for a mod that goes into your pack, I mean, if I was a mod maker, I said you couldn't put your mod in your pack, and someone just went and took my mod and put it in the pack, sorry about my phone, I'd be a bit annoyed. Um, so, it's I don't include mods in our packs, and none of the Kinetic packs have mods that we don't have either written permission from the mod maker or is expressed on their forum. Um, we don't do that because that's kind of a bit of an arse move. So we don't include Optifine because we haven't got written permission permission and we're not going to ask the creator for written permission because we feel that these mods work better so that's really it there's no magical method that's going to make the pack boot up in five seconds flat there's no great method that's going to make you go from five frames per second on a mod pack all the way up to 60 they don't exist if any video tells you that then they're lying um, a last few tips to make sure your pack loads well is always stay clicked into the window when it's loading. Don't click off onto another window. Although it can be quite annoying to have to stay clicked in, but you do gain the better chance of a pack not crashing and it booting faster. When inside your game, make sure V-Sync is always turned off and make, sh and make sure you're in full screen mode because that can improve performance also. And if you want to improve the overall load time of your pack, then an upgrade to your hard drive speed will do you the best rather than upgrading whatever. And finally, GPUs make no difference to Minecraft. I've heard so many people go on about that. They make very little difference to the way Minecraft runs. Um, so good CPU and good RAM depends on how good your Minecraft would go. So final breakdown. VSync off. Install better FPS. Make sure you configure it properly. Install Foam Fix instead of Optifine or Fastcraft if you're running 1.7.10. Make sure you haven't given over 4 to 6 gigabytes of RAM to Minecraft. It's not necessary and it will bog down your system. Make sure your Java is updated to the latest version. And then your pack will be running probably at the best it can run. And you may notice a absolutely huge change to the way that your Minecraft is running. Smoother, better, um, and faster load times in a lot of cases. So I hope this video has been helpful. If it has, then let me know. 
and uh, your links to our network down below the kinetic network will be down below so you can check out and see what we're all about if you're from our network then i hope you continue enjoying playing on our servers and i hope this video has been some help to you i'll catch you later